Greta Van Fleet might be the first young band in a very long time to have a massive amount of hype this past year before the release of a debut full album. After two very successful EPs and several number one charting songs, we finally get a 10-track LP with Anthem of the Peaceful Army. Put all the Led Zeppelin references and comparisons aside for now because it's time to take a listen and see what these young men from Michigan have to offer. It was a month ago in an interview with Rolling Stone that the group collectively said that songwriting is the most important thing to them. Songwriting comes first. Then going on to say that listening to Neil Young and Bob Dylan as sources of inspiration is what helped them. If anyone says this band isn't directly inspired by 60s and 70s classic rock, then you are on more drugs than all of Woodstock. As much as I enjoyed Highway Tune and appreciated Safari Song, I have to admit that I was not sure if Greta Van Fleet would have much more to offer than throwback rock and roll. After I saw them live, I could tell that they were more than a studio band and definitely knew how to play. Along with being the start of their music career and already selling out venues, they have all the pieces to make something special. Anthem of the Peaceful Army is listed being over 40 minutes across 10 to 11 tracks depending on the version you hear. You are getting some decent song length from each title, so I like to think that Greta Van Fleet aren't just making quick tracks and moving on to focus on singles. For all the high expectations that people will have before hearing this album, it can't be the same standard rock album with filler that is forgotten about in a month. Or at least it doesn't appear to be. After hearing the entire album several times, I can honestly say I was surprised at the different speeds and variety and sound that Greta Van Fleet presented on their debut. The opening track, Age of Man, is a great, slow bellowing song that shows off Jake's guitar licks. The Cold Wind is a more standard 60s rock sound what people will expect, which leads to When the Curtain Falls. When the Curtain Falls is a decent single. It shows off Josh's ability to really belt out his voice and there is a good groove in the song. It's what follows after the first three tracks in Watching Over and Lover Lever that you feel you found something solid. This is where everyone excels and you hear how at a young age they succeed at encapsulating a sound from decades ago. While everyone and their mother has been either praising or complaining about how this is a young Led Zeppelin, it's hard not to make comparisons, and I can at least say in songs like these two, they've made something unique, especially in Watching Over. Lover Lever is definitely stripped right out of a Zeppelin show, but it doesn't take away from the fact that these guys know how to play. In the second half of the album, there is much more acoustic work and even some organ playing that I think will surprise a few people. None of it is bad, but it's in the first half of this anthem of the Peaceful Army that just about everyone will be staying in and wanting to hear over and over again. There are some songs on this album that are okay, but then there are some that are stellar. to You're the One in the New Day, you get the more peaceful, upbeat sound from the classic rock scene. It doesn't stick out as much as the more dynamic tracks in the first half, but it also serves a purpose and its impressive guitar work. The electric side comes back with Mountain of the Sun and Brave New World, but it doesn't really capture you as much as the long psychedelic sound did in the opening half. Everything closes with a peaceful sing-along sound in Anthem, and I'm left realizing two things. Number one, this album has some songs that are okay and some that are fantastic. None of them are bad. Number two, Greta Van Fleet may not have knocked it out of the park with this album, but they definitely have the skill and potential to be around for a long time. I was not expecting Greta Van Fleet to have as many peaceful flowing tracks to go along with the edgier hard rock style from the 60s. However, it shows a lot more variety than I would have anticipated, and all of the instruments played on this album are excellently performed. Overall, Anthem of the Peaceful Army is a worthy tribute by four musicians dedicated to a sound that has been lost over the years. Whether you see Greta Van Fleet as ripping off a band's sound or see them as a wanted new coming in rock, it's safe to say that there is music in this debut LP that just about anyone can find and enjoy.